everything you are waiting and trusting God to do, you can do in the flesh. Money is not your problem. You can become a Yahoo boy now and make millions. Faith is that you have decided to trust God. He that cometh to him must believe that he is, I am. I am waiting on I am. Are you following what I'm saying? If child was Abraham's problem, he could get anyone pregnant. What I'm telling you is that you are not different from people who are getting it in the flesh if the result is your focus. Something happens to you that changes you. That when the result comes, God says, give me. And you can say yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Ah, God, I've been trusting you for breakthrough. Oh, breakthrough, oh, breakthrough. Okay. You did a contract. They gave you 10 million. Then God said, give me eight out of it. If the result is what you thought you were waiting for, you will not be able to do it. But if you went through a process, that tells you, the process will introduce God to you as the source and every other thing as a resource. So that you will not hold on to resources when you neglect the source. Real faith is in letting go. Real faith. Everything, everything, everything. Oh God, what, what are you trusting God for? I gave an illustration that, oh, ladies in church say, I'm trusting God for my future partner, that somebody will come. I've been waiting for three years. Nobody has come. If you wear bomb shorts now and eat the street, chances are that one or two boys will come. True or not true? Faith there is that you have chosen to do it the God way. That's where the faith is. So it's not just about the result. Something happens to you in the process. There's a man that begins the journey. There's a quality of man that must be met. Such that the process that will bring the result must have changed you. That your focus is no longer about the result. That's why the Bible says to consider these all died, not having received the promise. All right? They all died, not having received. That is, they got to a point where they said it's not about this. Actually, that seemed to be in view, but this is something more excellent. Now, are you telling us, are you trying to teach us now that when we have faith, we will not have results? Then you don't understand scriptures. When your heart is set this way, in fact, this is the route to get results. Look at the book of Psalms 23. Psalm 23, let's read verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, uh -huh, thy rod and thy staff. They what? Comfort me. Now, let me, let me, what of you should come? So, he said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will what? Fear no evil, for what? You are with me. What comfort? Rod and what? Staff. What was the duty of the rod with Moses? It was for instant result. Speak to the Red Sea. Stretch your rod towards it. That's it. He hit the rock with the rod. Instant miracle. But the rod that brings instant result alone cannot bring the genuine comfort. There is the staff that which you enter through growth. Let me tell you something. Rod is, you are coming to Ibadan. I lay hands on you. Grace now! Church, multiply. Get the first service, 5,000. Staff is, you look like, even after hands have been laid on you, it looks like hand was not laid. You have to start with two, three. You will mature in the process. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? What I'm telling you is that a staff is not a gift. A staff is a result of process. The things that you wait and go through process to evolve to get, it is a staff. You can repeat it anywhere, under any climate. Instant miracle is powerful, but it does not make giant. When you understand the ministry of the staff, that's when you say, I know him who I believed. He has shown up too many times and for me to doubt. There are many people who don't know God. It is they that do know their God. Those who are wielding staff that will do exploit. Don't be a bread and butter, butter Christian. Emerge, grow through process. Never despise process. Emerge! Learn! Mature. You grow from the point of I, I, right, I've seen myself go from the point of trusting God for 3,000 a month um, while doing ministry. Um, then at a point, the ministry could now do something 7-5. Amen? And then you, you grow. And then your faith, 10,000. You are growing. You, you are learning more than just the result. That's why many people seem to get some big stuff and vanish like chaff before the wind. Because they are not solid. 
You want to be very solid Christians. Once you remove process from faith, it's gone. Can we read this together? One, two, three, go. So then, faith cometh by what? Hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Can we read this again? One, two, three, go. So then, faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. 